Hey Cloud Gamers, today I'm going to show you how you can play GeForce Now as well as Stadia on your iOS device, so iPhones, iPads, etc. running iOS 14. And I'll put all the links and the guides in the description below for you to also get hold of. But first thing you'll need to do is to download Alt Store. Once you've downloaded Alt Store, you'll need to put it into the application section in Mac and then select it from the menu. Make sure your phone's plugged in and log in with your Apple ID. This will install the Alt Store app as a fake developer of yourself onto your phone. The instructions here we're going through are the Mac ones, but the Windows ones are pretty much the same. But make sure that you download the iTunes app from the iTunes site, not from the Windows Store. Once the Alt Store is installed, you will need to go and download the IPA file from the Cloudy Discord. Again, link in the description. Then you need to go to your phone in the newer versions of Mac. This is now in the browser, not in iTunes itself. So navigate to the file section. I'm going to drop it under Chrome here because I know that's quite easy to get to. So you just drag the IPA file to your phone. Once you've got that on your phone, you will then need to switch over to your device. You need to leave Alt Store running on your Mac or PC and also leave your phone connected while we do the next section on the phone. So moving over to your phone, you will need to go down into the phone settings, go to general, device management, select the developer app, and at the top you need to say trust and you will see the Alt Store verified underneath. Once you've done that, go and open the Alt Store app. If you don't see the Alt Store app on your phone, just restart your phone, keep it connected, and then come back to the Alt Store app. Once in Alt Store, you need to go to My Apps, hit the plus in the top, and then go back to Browse and My Phone. Find where you put the IPA file, so for me it was in the Chrome folder, and install the app from here. It'll take a few seconds just to install, and then it should appear on the list. Once again, you might find that when you go and look for the app, that you can't find it. So just restart your phone again and that will appear. Now you no longer need Alt Store running from this point forward and you can now run the Cloudy app on your phone. You will need to reconnect to the Alt Store and click refresh on those apps every seven days and there's a guide to do it remotely also in the description below. Once you start the app, you've got some bookmarks. If you look for the little settings cog in the bottom left, which is fairly hard to see to start with, and you've got quick links there to GeForce Now and Stadia. I'm going to go straight to GeForce Now here and log in with my Google account. Once you've done this, it does remember on the device, so you can switch between GeForce Now and Stadia, and we'll come on to Stadia a little later. So once you're logged in, that's it. You can now start playing GeForce Now games. So I'm going to launch Fortnite as the first test here, and you might notice that the aspect ratio looks a little bit strange. As GeForce Now loads up for me on my iPhone 12 Pro, it does shrink into this little box into the middle of the screen and this is an issue with the aspect ratio of GeForce Now. It thinks that it's a 4x3 type screen and clearly that's not really great for this type of screen. So what you need to do is quit out and go to the settings in GeForce Now. Go to the settings at the top right, scroll down to the stream settings, hit custom and change the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 at 1920 by 1080. And now if you go and launch the game again, using Fortnite again here, you'll see that that aspect ratio is much better. It still doesn't quite fill the screen on GeForce now, but it's more than playable. And you can see here from the footage, using a Bluetooth PlayStation 4 controller, there's no lag on the input and is perfectly playable. So I'm just going to show a bit of Fortnite footage here just so you can see that there's no latency and how well it looks and plays on the iPhone. And then we're going to go and have a look at Stadia. So if I go to Stadia via the bookmark here, again using that little settings cog in the bottom left that you can see floating there, 
You'll see straight away you get this controller linked message and this is just the script hooking in. But you can see I'm using the Bluetooth controller and I wasn't linked. So if I switch over to the Stadia controller, the Stadia controller does actually link as well. And you'll see it pairing here. Once it's paired, you can then put the Bluetooth controller away or obviously just come here and use the Stadia controller off the bat. Now, I have seen a couple of issues when I've launched Stadia. You get this kind of test stream and occasionally on the first launch, you'll hear the game loading in the background, but it will kind of stay either on this screen or you'll get a bit of a black screen, as you can hear here. So all you need to do is tap on the screen and you'll see a player window Right, the full screen media player here. Just close that window and you'll see that Stadia is running perfectly happy underneath. And that also means that you can get to the Stadia menu and other bits and pieces. And then if it doesn't go full screen, all you need to do is to go to the Stadia home menu and just refresh the page. You will need to repair the controller by doing so. That usually fixes the issue and makes it go full screen again, either in the media player or without it. But either way, it works and makes Stadia perfectly playable. You'll see that I start playing Watch Dogs Legion here. So playing Watch Dogs Legion on the iPhone 12 with the Stadia controller here, or with the Bluetooth controller, your choice, looks and plays perfectly fine. As I said, the links are in the description below to this guide, as well as to the Discord so that you can go and get the IPA file. Hats off to the Cloudy developers for doing this, although it is a bit of a fiddle. If you do just want to play Stadia with the controller without all this extra work, you can download the desktop only browser and just pair your Stadia controller without all of the hassle of Alt Store. But if you do want to use GeForce Now or you want to use a Bluetooth controller, then this is currently the only way since Stadium was removed. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest across all cloud gaming platforms, and I will see you next time.